And there are new numbers just in tonight showing how much the opioid crisis continues to impact Toledo. So far this year, there have been dozens of deaths and hundreds of overdoses. Emma Henderson live in studio tonight to break down those numbers in Emma. That's right, Andrew. Toledo alone has seen 67 confirmed overdose deaths since the beginning of this year. More than 880 non-fatal opioid overdoses. Narcan has been administered 704 times and 200 people have refused care after an overdose. And these are just official reported numbers. It's likely much higher. Today, I spoke to someone in recovery and the mother of an addict and a first responder to get their perspective on these numbers. These two women, Tammy Meredith and Angelia Gunter, are part of a support group called Families After Addiction and Death, or FAD. Uh, my son's an addict and has been for about 15 years now, so I've been involved for a long time. It's important for me to come to FAD, uh, number one, as someone who is a, an addiction survivor myself. In FAD, counting deaths is far more than just a number. It's actual names, faces, um, people that I know that so I don't look at it as a number it's it's a family member you try to keep a wall up but it's very hard to keep those boundaries and you hear so many people you know right now going back out just one time and that's all it takes and they're gone for Gunter and first responders they have seen how an attempt to get high is a risk of death every time especially now as Toledo sees more drugs laced with fentanyl and carafentanyl it's as simple as you're playing Russian roulette with yourself right now. Like that's just what it comes down to at the end of the day. And I'm not willing to play that game with myself. They're playing Russian roulette with these uh, drugs and unfortunately 67 of those were fatal. It took both women some time to reach out for help, but they say FAD is an important part of their lives now and have advice for families of addicts and people currently battling addiction. They don't want to hear the truth, but if they keep coming and they keep listening and they keep trying to learn, um, they change and they grow. I would just say plain and simple, just give it a chance. If, if you don't like it and you hate it, the drugs are always going to be there. The streets will always be there waiting for you, but what is it going to hurt? It may change your life. FAD meetings are held twice a week, and there's also a nonprofit called Team Recovery that's available for additional resources to anyone trying to get clean or just trying to find someone that can understand. Reporting live in studio, Emma Henderson for WTOL 11.